All right, everybody, this is a target hole. Let's get into it. Gundam chopping time. Well, here at the beginning, as you can kind of see, we have some Gundams, but it's pretty messy in there. There's stuff everywhere. There is crap everywhere. I'm just digging through, kind of eyeballing stuff. And then two big pops out at me, and I'm like, mm, what's this back here? Because we know. We know we all like to hide stuff. Don't tell me you don't hide stuff. I hide stuff. I ain't gonna tell you where I hide stuff, but I hide stuff. And what is it? It's Red Zaku. I was like, eh, it's the only one. Eh, I'll come back to that. And what do we got here? This little boy peeking out at me. Yes, that's right, that's a Strike Freedom Gundam. Hmm, I might set that down. Let's take another look. Man, heavy arms, but everything is messy. Target needs to pick up their game and get some of this cleaned up. Uh, just keep on looking here. A lot of neat stuff out. I know they just did a restock, but man, they need to clean up. Well, then nothing yet. Then I come across this. Tell me they're not cool. We love these things, do we not? Oh yeah, you know what that means. Time for some unveiling. First up, we have a Gundam Easy 8. Yes, that's right, buddies. I bought one. A Gundam Easy 8. This was probably one of my favorite Gundam animes. Gritty, hard. It, it just It's good to start with that. And I was lucky. I got to start with Gundam Wing, but then I went to this, and it was amazing. I love it. Cannot get enough of it. And the ending not gonna spoil it but man it was it was pretty gnarly I really really like it kind of like saving private Ryan with Gundams up next we have that's right I have not got one of these before it's the armor and the frame the g-frame 13 yes that's right g-frame 13 I figured I'd try my hat in this a little bit it looks pretty neat some kind of small, some kind of fun, some kind of different. On the side there, we've got all different types of stuff going on. I don't know. I think it'd be alright. It was worth the 10, 12 bucks that it was. Oh yeah, on the back we have all the nice little pictures that grab our attention. Comment down below if you guys have made these or if you like them or what you think about them. Was it a good buy? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. And next we have, come on, where you at? Come on now, yeah, yeah, no, come on, come on. There, we did get the Strike Freedom Gundam. I like high grades, I cannot help it. High grades are my thing. I just did a real grade, it, was, it wasn't too bad. I have these little translucent bits, man. I ain't gonna say I was cursing, but I was cursing. This, I've not done this one before or anything like it, but the box art, it sold me. I had to get it. It was tied, it was tied up between this and the heavy arms, and, and I went with this. Now everything all together. We got the strike freedom in the back, the armor frame combo, and then, let's see, let's bring up the Easy 8. God, man, it might be a toy, but you cannot go wrong with that, I'm telling you. And with that being said, I think that was a pretty good haul. Plus, I had a coupon, $10 off. Now, on to this. Brought this up the other day. This is the RX-78 US Gundam American type. This is mine. I've weathered it. I added a bunch of decals to it. That in the background? that's what's coming to you guys if you go to my channel this channel two days build go to the giveaway go to the giveaway video and comment giveaway